And today we're going to do something called how to dream five years in five minutes. So Bill Gates has a pretty famous quote and it goes, most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. So I believe, and a lot of other successful people believe that it is so powerful to think about your life five to 10 years from now. I personally find this very hard to do. So if you find this hard to do, you are not alone. Um, I also find 10 years just to be uh, too too much for me. It's it's like a little bit too far of a gap for me. So I like to focus on my year on my life five years out. Um, and I partly feel like this is hard for us to do because I think that we're kind of brought up in a society where a lot of choices are made for us. I feel like our the the pervasive parenting paradigm and educational paradigm in the United States is we tell our children almost everything what to do and we don't force them to make a lot of choices and then we grow up and we have adults who who are often out of touch with their feelings and they just don't know what they want. Um, you know, in the Bible, Jesus asked three times, he asked his disciples, what is it that you want? Which is kind of funny because Jesus is omnipotent. He, he already knows what we want, what we need. He knows the desires of our hearts. He's placed those desires in our hearts. And so I also think it's very biblical to take a second to examine what is it that we want? What is it that we want our life? What is it that you want your life to look like five years from now? So today's exercise is pretty simple. I have done it around New Year's the last two years and I really have to say that it has been an incredibly life-changing experience. It's brought up super powerful conversations with myself, with the Lord, with my husband about what, how we prioritize what we're going to do with our lives and what we want our lives to possibly look like in five years from now. So here's here's how it's going to work we have i have a little worksheet prompt assignment thing in our membership portal and what you're going to want to do is take five minutes and try to get quiet someplace quiet five minutes to just close your eyes and really visualize what you want your life to look like five years from now okay now if you feel like you cannot five find five minutes today that is okay we just want to remove all barriers from you uh, preventing you from taking action. So just think about this for five minutes while you're multitasking, doing something else. But I do really want you to try to find one to two minutes to write down what you've thought about and what you visualized at some point today, um, ideally on the worksheet that I have in the membership portal. Okay, so you're going to take five minutes and what you're going to do is you are going to imagine that you have a magic wand and you can ma wave this magic wand and you can kind of create whatever life you want. Okay, so you wanna remove all limitations. Money is no limit, geography is no limit. So what I mean by that is imagine, um, imagine that you could just say you think you maybe wanna live someplace in the world, you could move all your loved ones there. Finances are no issue. Uh, maybe health issues are no issue. Just anything that could be an issue, just forget about it for right now. You have a magic wand that could remove every issue from creating whatever is in your heart to, to, to be living five years from now. Um, I also want you to try to think about as best you can to removing all limitations as far as what um, expectations that other people have of you. So this could be expectations that maybe you have on yourself, probably, I, I, we talked about this yesterday with mom guilt, but um, probably a lot of these expectations are, I should be a stay at home mom, or I should be working, or um, I should be doing this, or I shouldn't be doing this. Just remove all the shoulding from your mind. Any Anytime something like that comes up, or any expectations that anyone in your life right now 
has of you. Just temporarily set, I mean, sometimes those are legitimate, but for today's exercise, for this five minutes, just remove all of those expectations that your partner has of you, that um, maybe your parents or your in-laws or family members or your boss or your children or your friends, remove all of those uh, expectations that people have of you and just dream. And I want you to try if you can get quiet and just think about how old are you? How old are your loved ones? Where are you? How do you feel? What does it smell like? What are you doing? Where are you living? What kind of car are you driving? Anything, it just, just try to get as real and as concrete as you can for these five minutes. Um, and then the, the last thing that I would encourage you to do is sometimes I find it's helpful to dream about, I, I'm a very linear thinker, so to think about four categories when you're, when you're doing your little dream session. And those would be emotional, relational, spiritual, physical, and then financial slash vocational. So maybe think about what your life looks like five years from now in each of those four categories. You don't have to do that. That's just another idea that might help you. And that's, that's you know, that's basically it. So guys,